all right so y'all want to learn how to twist like that right all right so first i'm gonna show you all through the steps um first what i do is just control t and then i get all the all the clips that move so these dead dead frames are here i don't i don't keyframe go through it so you're gonna get all the frames that move uh, I'm gonna have this extension probably in my bio right here. It's what I use for all my edits. Uh, you can uh, go here, press recruit, delete all this, right? You're gonna have all, all the clips, all the moving frames right here. I'm gonna go interpolate right here. I use 4x, but you guys can use whatever you guys want. I don't think there's a big difference. 16x just takes too long for me. Six forever to load. I'll go here, control T again, move it to the last, like to the end of the clip. Uh, pre comp, I usually pre comp. And then I'm gonna go Twix right here, Twixer Pro. Keep this, whatever you want. I think 20 or this is fine. Just depends on your clip. I'm gonna show you the guys the difference after. So you're gonna put contrast, edge enhance, motion weighted blend, and then forward or inverse. Uh, I personally use inverse, but I'm gonna use forward for this tutorial. So you're gonna do go to timer map mode, put frame number. You're gonna keyframe this from zero to wherever you want to stop it. So, so it stops moving like right here. Just like that. You're gonna press F9 on your keyboard. You're gonna graph this, stop this. There's like warps like this, you can just fix it up. There's no warps. Render this out. I think this is fine, but for 20 FPS, it's, I think it's going to be a little slower. Honestly, yeah, I think the other one's better. Um, inverse, I'll show you guys inverse. That's what I normally use. So, next clip, we're going to do the same thing. Control T, and then go through all the clip, all the frames. Make sure you don't get off dead frames. Frames that don't move, basically. I go regroup. Cut this out. And then... Slow the clip down again. And then sometimes when your clip doesn't fit the full thing, I just press Alt-T. And then do the same thing, add your twister. And then... End of clip. So it stops moving kind of right there. And then add your graph. So it doesn't really need to be changed. It's gonna look like that. I think this is fine. Yeah, it's basically how I like Twix timer map on my clips. Should you get another way how to do it? It's not, I don't think it's as good as this way, but it's, a, it's still another way. So what I'm gonna do is put the frames of your clip, so minus 20, and go speed, then all this, you're gonna pre-comp, then control T, and then find the find where your clip stops on the, on the time map. And then you're gonna do this. It's kind of like the same thing as the other one, but I feel like the other one is a little bit better. You'll always make sure this slip like kind of goes out. This way is also fine, but I think the other way is a little better and faster. 
uh, I'm just gonna go back to the other one. Right here. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do a little reverse remap. I'm gonna go put your frames back, put your keyframes back, like a couple of frames. I usually do three or so, four. Then you're gonna put it to the frame number that's before, like reverse back. I'm gonna do three. Just like kind of back like this. I'm gonna wanna remap it or just grab this. That. Just like a little warp right here, so I'll just fix that. never want your remap to ever be like stiff because I feel like that just looks kind of ugly but make sure it's always a moving clip so it doesn't look stiff as hell so you do a little reverse also I have um warp portal settings to give y'all because I had somebody ask me that so you're gonna make an adjustment layer this like the warp puddle. Add this on here. Uh, you're gonna change the outer softness. Just hold shift and drag it all the way. And outer radius. Also drag it all the way. I use for frequency about 1.7, but I think one is nice to do 1.7 for this tutorial though. I'd say three or four frames would be nice for warp puddle to build up to. I'll do 0 0.6. That's what I usually do, I think. 0 0.7, but it's fine. You know, zero. You're gonna F9 all this. Easy, easy. Grab it like this. Make it a little faster. Slip is kind of on, so it's gonna look different on every clip. What I also do is, if it doesn't look nice, I usually just change the face start. It's like this. It's like whatever looks nice, really. Sometimes I usually just spin in a freaking circle until I get to something I like. It's nice right here. Add a little scale to it, too. That's just that's some more settings for twisting and warp puddle. Hopefully this makes sense for people that don't really, you know, aren't really good at twisting or warps. Yeah, that's about it.